Hi everyone. Today we're going to look at a classic coding interview problem called sort colors, also known as Leet Code 75. The problem is simple. You're given an array that contains only three numbers, 0, 1, and 2. They represent red, white, and blue. Your task is to sort the array in place so that all the zeros come first, then all the ones, and finally all the twos. There are two important constraints. You're not allowed to use built-in sorting functions, and ideally, you should solve it in just one pass through the array. Let's look at an example. If the input is 202110, the output should be 001122. After sorting, red is on the left, white is in the middle, and blue is on the right. That's exactly the order of the Dutch national flag, which is why this problem is also called the Dutch national flag problem. At first glance, you might think, why not just use quicksort or merge sort? That would work, but those algorithms take O and log n time and don't take advantage of the fact that there are only three possible values. In interviews, the expected solution runs in linear time, O n. Some people also think about using an extra array, placing twos on the right, zeros on the left, and filling ones in the middle. That scans the array once, but it uses extra space, so it doesn't meet the in-place requirement. Another straightforward approach is counting. You scan the array once and count how many zeros, ones, and twos there are. Then you scan again and overwrite the array with the correct number of zeros, ones, and twos. This runs in O n time and uses O1 extra space, since you only need three counters. But it still requires two passes, so it's not the optimal one-pass solution. Now let's talk about the optimal approach, the three-pointer algorithm. We use three pointers called low, current, and high. Low marks the right boundary of the zero region. High marks the left boundary of the two region. Current is used to scan the array. At the start, low and current point to the beginning of the array, and high points to the end. Here's the key idea. As current moves through the array, if it sees a zero, we swap it with the element at low, then move both low and current forward. If it sees a two, we swap it with the element at high, move high backward, but keep current where it is, because the swapped in value hasn't been checked yet. If it sees a one, we simply move current forward. Let's walk through the example. Current starts at the first element, which is two. That belongs on the right, so we swap it with the value at high. High moves left, and current stays put. Now current points to a zero. That belongs on the left, so we swap it with low. In this case, they're the same position, so nothing changes, and both pointers move right. The next value is another zero, so we do the same thing again. Then current points to a two, we swap with high, move high left, and keep current in place. Now current sees a one, so we just move on. The next value is also one, and we move again. At this point, current has passed high, so we're done. The array is fully sorted. This algorithm scans the array only once, runs in O n time, and uses O 1 extra space. The beauty of it is that throughout the process, the left side always contains only zeros, the right side always contains only twos, and the middle is gradually resolved as current moves forward. That's the Dutch national flag algorithm, and it's a must-know technique for coding interviews.